Good morning. Today is December the 6th, and this is Pastor Rick's Reflections. Happy St. Nicholas Day. Yes, this is the day that we commemorate Nicholas, Bishop of Myra. Um, Nicholas was born in 270 on, uh, in the year 270 in Turkey on March 14th. From 312 to 315, he lived in a cave near Bethlehem as a monk. He was consecrated Bishop of Myra, Turkey in 317. And in the year 325, he was one of the original signers of the Nicene Creed at the Council of Nicaea. Uh, and then he died on this day in the year 343. Nicholas was a bishop for 25 years in a city that is now in Turkey. Given few facts about his ministry, there arose medieval legends of him as a wonder worker. Stories of his care for children led to his being named the protector of children and eventually to his evolution as Santa Claus, into Santa Claus. In some Northern European places, December 6th, St. Nicholas Death Day, is the day of winter gift giving. One famous story tells of his providing dowries in the form of bags of gold to three impoverished young girls to save them from prostitution. The way that story goes is back then, of course, uh, one of the ways um, one of the things a woman needed, in, a young woman needed in order to get married was a dowry, uh, money that her family would give uh, the groom, the groom's family. And there were three impoverished young ladies that um, they, as the story goes, um, they were worried they'd have to go into prostitution. Their family was poor. They didn't have any dowries. And as the, po as the old story poem goes, um, their stockings were hung by the chimney with care. Uh, their stockings were hung to dry after they had been washed, and the legend is then that St. Nick, good old St. Nicholas, uh, somehow came by and put gold into their stockings so that they would have a dowry and be able to uh, get married. So, And, you know, some of those stories um, kind of morph into the whole uh, Santa Claus, Father Christmas kind of thing, and that's how we get, you know, St. Nick. Um, Here's just a little uh, quote from St. Nicholas. The giver of every good and perfect gift has called upon us to mimic God's giving by grace through faith, and this is not of ourselves. So in honor of St. Nicholas, today we're going to pray a, uh, our prayer is going to be a prayer for children. Let us pray. Almighty God, with a mother's love and a father's care, you have blessed us in the church with joy and responsibility of children. As we bring them up, give us gracious love, calm, strength, and patient wisdom, that we may teach them to love whatever is just and true and good, following the example of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen.